While you're painting, don't forget to paint the triangle part with the little square cut out in the middle. That's for the front part of the roof that's on the attic. Okay, so once you have it painted, you want to go through and give it a light sanding as the um, directions tell you to get off all the furs and stuff like that and give it a smoother look. I decided to go ahead and go with this sage. I just thought it was a nice, pretty green. Um, the camera doesn't really show it the way that it looks, but it's definitely a very, very light color. Um, if you look in the Real Good Toy magazine that comes with it, it actually is kind of a little darker than the one that they have up here in the book. Well, not really darker, but it's got like a little bit more green to it. And then the plan is to use a darker shutter with it. All right. So the next step is in the book is to go ahead and paint the base. Okay, so a friend of mine was telling me about this um, paint texture additive. It comes in sand and stone. You can use that to paint around your base. You just mix it in with the paint. Or you can use um, a couple different methods. One I used where I took sand and mixed it in with some school glue. Um, it was like one part glue and then a half a part water. And then you just mix the sand as to how much texture you want. You can do it that way and paint it on like that. Or you can use that same method and use toilet paper over top of it and then paint back over it again. I'll show you that tutorial on a different one, but these are just two of the options that you have that are store-bought. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the stone mixture. This is the first time for me, so I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. I put some of my paint in a separate container because I didn't want it to um, ruin all of the paint. I'm just using a cream color. looks kind of very stone-like. Just going to take this stir, stir it in. And my paint is a little thick, so I'm going to actually add a tad of water in it. It's just because it's been sitting for like a year. You don't have to do this step. All right, so for this part, it tells you to roll it on, but I'm going to go ahead and use a paintbrush, and then I'm going to blot it afterwards. We'll see how it works out. Make sure you get it off at the bottom if you get any on there. I can tell you um, it's got the little chunks in it, so I may like the sand a little bit better versus the stone. Now I'm just using a sponge and I'm going to go across the bottom and get any of that off at the bottom. That way it doesn't mess up my gluing surfaces. And then I'm going to take that same sponge and I'm just going to kind of go back at it like this. Yeah. I think the toilet paper texture might actually be better than this, but we'll see. Maybe after a couple coats. So, I'm just again go back over it. I'm going to let it dry. It's got that stone sticking out on it in a couple of spots. And I think I'm going to try the sand at one, see if I like that one any better. Okay, so I went ahead and I mixed the sand mixture in with it to see if I can get it with a little bit more texture. And let's see what happens. It 
I think you're definitely getting more mixture and texture with the sand. So for the dollhouse, um, I think I prefer for this part, um, for such a small area, is the sand mixture. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Um, we'll let that dry. Okay, so here's what it looks like up close. Kind of gives you the appearance of a stucco on the side of the house. And again, this is the very bottom base. So we'll let that dry, and we'll see you in the next part when we attach it to the house. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below if you've had any luck with this kind of stucco and how you did it, what worked and what didn't work for you as well. Thanks a lot. Click the bell to be notified for the next part.